Well, welcome to Monday's Coffee with Job. We are now on to number 111. God is mighty but despises no one. Chapter 36. Elihu is talking and he's at verse 5. God is mighty but despises no one. He is mighty and firm in his purpose. He does not keep the wicked alive but gives the afflicted their rights. He does not take his eyes off the righteous. He enthrones them with kings and exalts them forever. But if people are bound in chains, held fast by cords of affliction, he tells them what they have done, that they have sinned arrogantly. He makes them listen to correction and commands them to repent of their evil. If they obey and serve him, they will spend the rest of their days in prosperity and their years in contentment. But if they do not listen, they will perish by the sword and die without knowledge. Now, this is quite, um, I think, clear teaching. Sorry, forgive the the mic in there. Um, I think it's quite clear teaching. And it seems to be putting forward a prosperity gospel. If you behave yourself, God will reward you. Um, God always rights wrongs and so on. God is mighty, but despises no one. He punishes the wicked, gives the afflicted their rights. He exalts the righteous. All this is true. If we are bound in chains of affliction, it's for our discipline. Uh, God shows us what we have done wrong. Hebrews says those who the Lord loves, he chastises. Now, the problem with that is that did not happen with Job. Was Job shown what he had done wrong? I, I don't think so. He didn't know what was going on between the devil and God. He didn't know why these things happened to him. And neither did his friends. Eli Hugh goes on to say, if we obey and serve, we will spend our days in prosperity. If we do not listen, we perish by the sword and die without knowledge. Now, the point about this is all of this is true, but what if it doesn't happen? How, how do you then deal with that? So let me just give you three examples. Bring up your child in the way he should go, and they will not depart from it. That's what scripture says. And yet, there are Christian parents, maybe some of you listening to this, and you're saying, well, I brought up my child the best I could according to the scriptures. I, I taught them the Bible. I, I, I sought to be the best parent I could. And my child has utterly rejected the faith. Did I do something wrong? There's a, a, a sense of feeling guilt. Or... Here's a basic principle, isn't it? It's true. Look after your body and, you know, don't smoke. You're less likely to get lung cancer. Don't drink excessive alcohol. You're not going to, um, maybe your liver will be a whole lot better. But then someone still gets liver problems or someone still gets lung cancer. How, how is that right? I, I think of one man I know who was in his 40s and incredibly fit and at the gym all the time. And one day he just dropped dead. It just seems so unfair. Or give you one more example. In your Christian witness, you're calm and you're collected and you're kind and you're gracious as far as you can be. No one's perfect. But you still get attacked. You still get blamed. and Maybe you still get sent to jail. But I thought if we did A, then B would happen. If we did C, then D would happen. Isn't that what's being taught? Now, I think these general principles are true. But I also think that Scripture tells us we live in a distorted world. There is a Satan. There is evil. There is injustice. And how does all that square? Well, it only squares when we look to the day of judgment coming and when we look to Christ. There is a day when, as Job hoped, a redeemer would stand on the earth and bring ultimate justice. And we long for that day. But meanwhile, we live in this world as best as we can. We rely on God for his love and mercy and know that even in the midst of affliction, perhaps especially in the midst of affliction, he bears our burdens and carries our sorrows. Take this as your comfort. God is mighty, but despises no one. God is mighty, but despises no one. He is mighty and firm in his purpose. And his purpose for his people is good. So God bless you. And hopefully 
See you tomorrow.